Hello, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at deploying an L-Class line array as a ground stack over a subwoofer. There are two models of the array frame and stack adapter accessories, each specific to the LA-108 and LA-112. It's important to note that the array frame models cannot be mixed and matched between the two array loudspeakers. Let's go. If this is the first time using your array frame in a ground stack configuration, there's a few pre-assembly steps that we'll need to perform to prepare the array frame to be used. Some assembly required. On first use, adhere bumper pads to the bottom of the array frame as demonstrated. Then secure the tie-down assembly to the M20 thread on top of the subwoofer and tighten it down. Now we're ready to attach the array frame to the subwoofer. Place the array frame onto the subwoofer with the bumper pads facing down. Secure the array frame to the tie-down assembly with the tie-down knob. With the array frame secure, let's now connect the stack adapters. First. Attach the front of each angle arm to each side of the array frame using the angle arm rigging pins. Now let's get stacking. We'll start by setting the angle on the stack adapter first. This will determine the overall down tilt angle of the array on the subwoofer. The stack adapter allows for a 6 degree, 0, minus 6, and minus 12 degree down tilt angle. Once we've set the down tilt, get your first loudspeaker and set the locking levers on both sides to the middle add position. Hook both front strikes of the loudspeaker into the front hooks of the array frame. Lower the back side of the loudspeaker until the angle arm of the stack adapter latches into the rear hook of the loudspeaker. You'll know it's secure when you hear it click. Push the locking levers into the down lock position on both sides. Now, repeat this process to continue stacking each loudspeaker above the next until your array is complete. Now we can adjust the angles as needed. In a ground stack configuration, we're working from the ground up. Press the angle levers on the loudspeaker below the loudspeaker that you intend to adjust. Now adjust the angle of the loudspeaker until it clicks into position. Repeat as needed. When setting your splay angles, it's important to be aware of the progressive splay angle rule. This rule states that a larger splay angle value cannot be used above a smaller splay angle value as this will result in an unsupported loudspeaker array that is not possible to optimize. The angle values must either match or progressively increase in size from the top of the array to the bottom. For example, we have a four box array here with the angles one and a half, six, and then 12 degrees from the top to bottom. An example of an unsupported array would be if you had the angles set to let's say 12 degrees, six degrees, and then one and a half degrees from top to bottom. No good. Technically, the hardware will allow for any combination of angles to be set throughout the array, but if the progressive splay angle rule is broken, the internal optimization will not work. Our engineers have spent a lot of time making sure that your array works with correct deployment angles, so just follow the rule and save yourself lots of time and headaches. In a ground stack configuration, you can stack up to four LA-108 loudspeakers and up to three LA-112 loudspeakers above the LS-118 subwoofer. A quick note, when stacking the LA-112 above the LS-118, the subwoofer must be turned on its side. This adds stability needed to support the larger LA-112 loudspeakers while making the stack look more aesthetically pleasing since the sub's width now matches the LA-112. You're not limited to stacking the L-Class above the LS-118, however. The LA-108AF array frame will attach to the KS-118 in vertical orientation, and the LA-112AF array frame will attach to the KS-212C in horizontal orientation using the same M20 thread featured on those QSC subwoofers. When it's time to tear down, we can remove each loudspeaker starting with the top by setting the locking levers to the up-remove position and lifting the loudspeaker off of the front strikes. 
Repeat this all the way down until the last loudspeaker is removed. Detach the array frame by removing the tie-down knob from the tie-down assembly, and then unscrew the tie-down assembly from the M20 thread mount. All of the components of the stack adapter kit can be installed for storage within the array frame itself when not in use to keep all components together, making it nice and tidy for travel or storage. And with that, a single operator can successfully deploy a ground stack line array by themselves. Move on whenever you're ready.